Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today it will be a very small update to the LC toolbox that I've already given to you guys. If you haven't checked it out, just go to the previous video. And for this case, it's a highlighter plugin and you can use it almost anywhere on your video. Please remember to first subscribe to my channel, like this video, and drop a comment if you have any questions or just to show your support. First of all, you have to download this plugin of course, and as usual, the link will be in the description box and after you have already downloaded it, this folder will appear on your desktop. So let's first copy this folder and go to Go, Home, Movies, Motion Templates, and just paste it in the titles folder and restart the Final Cut Pro go to the titles and generators sidebar and find LC tool and you can see there is two sections for now the first section is the LC zoom and magnify and the second section will be today's content which is the highlighter effect and there are basically five effects and two of them are actually highlighters two of them are underlying effects and the last one will be cancellation and you can obviously hang your mouse over any of the effects to see the, the preview and before applying on your video so let's move on to how can you apply them on your videos you can apply them on text so for me i'll create a very simple basic text and just to save time, I'm just gonna, you know, copy and paste titles uh, several times to make sure this is like kind of a wordy text. Something like that. Obviously, I can increase the size and uh, the font and everything. I'm not gonna change for now. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the brushing highlighter effect. The first brush effect, which is only one stroke. So let's shrink the size. Once you hit play, you realize that the brush is somewhere in the middle. So you can increase and make sure it can cover the entire thing that you want to highlight. For example, this middle three titles and hit play. That's you know going to cover them. And if you don't like this size and you want to only cover one title, you can obviously come to the inspector and decrease the X scale like this and you can change it to any position you want like this and obviously you think that this is a little bit thin so you can increase the Y scale like this and drag it down pretty simple huh so if you realize that this a little on-screen control is getting out of the screen so what you can do is you can change the percentage of the view the viewer to a smaller one like this and you can obviously change easily like this and of course if you still think that it's too big or too small you can still change like that I need to show you how you can change the color you can change the color like this and the second brush effect it's about the same so you can click and select any of them and double click on the second effect to change the effect without dragging anything so that's what I've done and you've realized that the second brush effect has two lines two strokes so as usual you can obviously shrink the size and anything you want to change the you know the, the size the, the x and y axis and everything it is the same as the previous effect so i'm not gonna show you and spend a lot of time to explain and yeah once you hit play two strokes to color the box an imaginary box actually so if you want to you know shorten or increase the speed you can obviously shrink the size like this so the speed of coloring will be faster but a little bit or increase the duration like this and the coloring will be slower but a little bit however you think the speed is too fast or too slow you might want to click on this effect and create a compound clip you can press option plus g and create 
compound clip and you realize that this box is already become opaque so what you can do is you come to the inspector and change the blend mode to add and that solves everything and you can press command plus r to summon this you know speed ramp and you can change anything you want for example speed up or you know you know make it a slower one like this you know without changing anything you know very significantly that's pretty much the first effect i want to show you which is the highlighting effect so the next one will be the underlying effect which is about the same and you can change the position like just now however you can change the length and thickness easily over here at the inspector instead of changing this icon because it's going to you know, move everything you know all over the place so that's what i suggest increase the thickness and length over here for example if you want to just highlight one of the title you can decrease the length like this and yep put it in the middle and once you hit play yep, that's pretty much everything and as usual you can change the color and for the second underlying effect it's about the same as well so without further ado I'm just gonna change the thickness the length like this and you can change the lines color first line and second line over here and last effect will be cancellation effect which is this one you can see that there are a few lines over here and obviously if you want it to be very big that's going to be like this and you can change the size to six lines or to four lines and change the color over here and that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you obviously you can layer everything like this underline brush and cancellation so as you realize that this length is different so you might want to shrink and make sure they are ending at the same spot to just make this everything clearer like this and like this something like that so underline highlighting and cancellation everything at once and that's the end of today's video please remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video again thank you very much for your support and drop a comment to ask me if you have any questions that's all and bye bye